Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. Today I am going to be talking about a fake tan that I just bought. I purchased the Amanda Harrington Face Mist Illuminating Bronzing Mist. And um, I also have these to show you. Um, so I am going to demonstrate it here. I've already filmed this video once before and I did like a three day kind of test thing but it was a little too long and I felt like dragged on so I am just going to get to the point I'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail so Amanda Harrington uh created um like fake tans for the body and the face the face is a face mist and then the body one is a body mousse so she created three kind of undertones rose honey and olive so i have honey and olive here and if you're super fair um she has the rose option for you i'm going to tell you right away that my favorite color is the olive i was going back and forth between which color i should get um but when i tan i turn like just brown dark brown and um not like that pretty golden or like kind of terracotta shade my husband actually turns that shade and the honey would work really well for him but the olive is like perfect for my skin i'm just going to show you one on each side so you can kind of see the difference on my skin um i have skincare already and it's already on my face and it's set um so i'm gonna go in with the pre-color primer first so i purchased the set and it came with a brush, the Natural Olive Face Mist, and the face color or pre-color primer for the face. Um, when you purchase any mist, it also comes with gloves. And then I also purchased the single mist in Honey. What I will say is I don't think you need the pre-color primer. I've used it before and it's nice. I just don't think it's necessary. Also, I compared the ingredients to the body one. They are exactly the same. So if you're buying everything separately, um, it's a better bang for your buck if you buy the body version because you get way more product for like the same price or something crazy like that. You do get the brush in the kit. You can also purchase the brush by itself, but I find that any brush will work. So just dedicate a brush to bronzing and that will work and then i think you really if you're interested you really only need um the mist you get 2.5 fluid ounces of product in the mist and in the pre-color primer for the face you get 2.5 fluid ounces so i'm going to put the pre-color primer on first um looks just like a regular lotion it says it illuminates and i don't think it really illuminates that much uh, the first day I used it, I applied it on bare skin and no skincare underneath. And that was a mistake because I have super sensitive skin. And I found that it just irritated my skin even more. I got like those rosacea bumps all over my face and it wouldn't go away for a while so um i made sure to put my skincare on first and i would recommend you do the same when i tried this the first time too i didn't think it was gonna tan my skin i know it's a fake tan but i thought it was like gonna be just a bronzer that washed off at the end of the day it does not it does like stay on it doesn't come off patchy and uh but but i don't find that it like intensely like develops as the day goes on what you see is what you get and then when you wash it off at the end of the day that's like it's gonna it, most of it is gonna wash off um this i think was meant to kind of like bronze your skin or your face like instantly like uh my skin is darker than my my face my body is darker than my face and i know a lot of people who fake tan don't fake tan their face so i think this product was made for those who have like a lighter face than the rest of their body and just wants to bronze up their face i don't have the patience for putting 
fake tan all over my body i knew that that wasn't something i was gonna do or wanted to do um but at the beginning of the quarantine um i wasn't getting any sun at all and because i'm pregnant i don't um i've just been really hot and i don't want to sit in the sun so i wanted to look a little bronzy so that's why i bought these i just wanted to look a little more tan so i'm gonna stop talking and go in with the mist i don't shake it it doesn't say to shake but I don't shake because when I do, um, the fake tan flies everywhere and I don't want that right now. So I'm going to just spray it on the side of the brush because I'm going to try to contour with it. So there you go. And be careful because it kind of flies everywhere and it does dry very quickly. So here you go. It's going to look crazy, right? But it blends in really well. And then now I feel like it's dry. So I put it, I put the majority of the color where I want to be bronzed and then I blend it in everywhere else. And I kind of want my under eyes to look bright. So I'm kind of just going to stay away from that area. And let's see. So I guess I'll go in with another layer on this side. You can also spray it on your face. Um, and then blend it in, but I want more of a focused bronze look. So again, I'm, I'm going to just spray it down here, but I'm going to spray it at the edge of the brush. So it, I, it can give me that kind of chiseled look. And I have a towel here that is catching all the extra mist that flies around. I like to bring it over my eyebrows and my eyelids and get that jawline. It doesn't look patchy at all. Uh, let's see how it's looking in the mirror. Yeah, it looks super natural. It's actually looking a lot darker in the camera than it is in person, but I just, I really love that tone. So. I am actually going to go in with honey on my right side. So this was olive. Now this is honey. And I'm just going to go in with the same brush because it's completely dry now. No, no product is going to like mix. So again, spray it on the edge of the brush. And as you can tell, kind of has that more like terracotta red based tone to it. So if you like burn in the sun and your face gets like slightly red, it's not going to be like super red. Um, I would say I kind of have like a neutral olive tone. Like, and if you turn like golden in the sun, this color would be probably most natural for you. And now it's already dry, so I'm going to start buffing it in. <coughs> One of the brush hairs went into my mouth. So. And actually, this looks less intense than this side. But I prefer this side with my natural skin tone. It kind of like matches my neck and my shoulders better. I mean, I feel like I can get away with either one because I'm so neutral, but I just, I prefer this side more. So I'm gonna show you. I'm trying to wipe off all the brush hairs. So honey. and olive so um you can leave it here but i'm gonna just try to match the rest of uh i'm gonna match it up so 
I'm gonna go in with just one spray of honey here. And olive on the other side. This is honey. I feel like I just have more honey on my skin. And so what I normally do, um, since I have both colors, I use honey on the points of my skin, like um, right where the sun hits, like where I would normally get burnt. And then I use olive to kind of like naturally deepen my skin. I feel like it looks patchy in the viewfinder, but not looking that way in person. Yeah, I just really love it. <laughs> so it looks even enough to me. I just have those brushers everywhere, which is normal. It's fine, but it's just kind of annoying. I was looking for a natural looking olive based bronzer and I wanted something that was like a liquid base that kind of dried instantly on my skin and wouldn't budge throughout the day and I landed on this product. I saw a review by Speed Beauty Reviews and she used it on her skin and it just looked so natural and nice. and. Um, I just was, I was convinced. So this, um, you can leave it here or you can put makeup on top. I'm actually going to just leave it here for now. Um, I don't find that this, like if you put makeup on top, I don't find that it affects the tan in any way. Um, I just feel like it gives you like a really nice, um, like bronzy looking base to your skin um, and a lot of dimension so I know in the viewfinder it looks like very harsh right right here but when I get close like that line is kind of like blended um, and I just really like it it doesn't look patchy on my forehead those are just like like an old acne spot um, and that's it, I don't feel like it clings to any dry skin or pimples or anything like that, but that's probably due to um, my hydrated base, uh, my skincare underneath, and then the pre-color primer on top. If you are not one to use skincare, I would then urge you to get the pre-color primer because I don't think you should be putting this on like super dry skin. I think that's when you'll probably get patchy or it'll cling to any dry spots, but super natural and i wanted i wanted something that looked like this not like super dark or anything i didn't want like a one of those clear drops i wanted something that i can use to kind of like um bronze and contour when i didn't really want to use a powder and i just i really love these tones um i feel like i don't even have a bronzer like a powder bronzer or something that looks as natural as this does so i'm super happy with it and i would totally recommend it um it did come from the uk and i think i did have to pay for shipping it's not a cheap product by any means but i totally recommend it especially if this is something that you are um looking for if you like the like liquid bronzers gel bronzers this would be really really um i think fun for you to try uh and i really like it i'm very happy with the purchase and i um have been loving using this especially because i have been super lazy with my makeup 
but if you have any questions please leave them down below and don't forget to comment like subscribe check out my other videos and i will see you in my next one